Welcome to another trading video. I'm your market analyst Adam Kahlberg from Go Markets, and today we are going to be having a look at the S&P 500. So, just um, some context with the S&P 500 in recent weeks is obviously, you know, with the federal the Federal Reserve raising interest rates and being quite hawkish, this has led to a um, a lot of pressure on U.S. equities and a lot of strength in the U.S. dollar. So as we have a look at the weekly chart, what we can see is we're in this kind of period of consolidation before we decide what we want to do next. So if we draw, um, we've got a little bit of a parallel channel almost performing. Um, we can see here, um, we can probably extend it out as we go like this. And we are looking like we're in a bit of a downtrend. Some of the other factors that we can see is we're seeing a slowing down of this 50 period moving average and almost like a plateau. And we have crossed that 50 period moving average um, in recent times. So as we have a look at the, you know, the next kind of levels, we've got some pretty well set up levels um, around at the 3,500 level. Um, and we have just tested this level at 4060. So those are kind of some key levels um, of support that we are looking to test um, where before we decide what we are going to do next. And it, as I said, it is just important to bear in mind that we are waiting for the, um, the, the results of the FOMO meeting tonight. Um, and that will probably have an impact on the next way forward. So again, just having a look at the daily chart, as we can see, we get a little bit of a clearer picture, um, you know, just with some of these support levels. And as I said, we are in this kind of period of consolidation. The concern is that we do have this almost head and shoulders pattern forming, um, as you can see up the top, which, you know, signals some exhaustion. Some of the more positive signs are that, look, we do, in recent days, we have bounced off this 4,100 level. Um, but we want to, do want to see if that follows through before we decide what happens. But there are definitely some opportunities to either go long or short here and gives us some indication of what, you know, some of the U.S. equities may be doing. But as always, thank you for watching and good luck trading.